Okay, you are going to take one of your black and white photos and send it to Photoshop today so that you can do some color edits to it in Photoshop. So the way to do it is um, you take whatever photo it is you want to work on. Um, for this hand coloring project, you want photos to pick a photograph that has very clearly defined shapes. So like this with the lily pads. Um, and the water and the lily flower. Everything here is a very easy to select shape. It's not a tree with a lot of teeny tiny leaves. It's look for very look for a picture you have on file that is a simple shape. To get this to Photoshop, super easy. You are going to go under I believe it's under Photo, and then you're going to right here Edit In and it will automatically, I'm going to choose Edit in Adobe Photoshop 2021 and then it gives me three choices. I want to do an edit with Lightroom adjustments because it keeps all of the edits I've already done and then I hit edit and I need to wait a minute and Adobe Photoshop will open and there's my photograph. Okay, so we are working on color theory and color grouping right now. Color theory and color groups and how they exist. So the first group I am going to work with is primary colors. So I'm going to only use two tools today. I'm going to use the quick select and I'm going to use the paintbrush and I'm going to set the paintbrush so that the color is a little bit transparent. I know that I do not want to work on the background and my background is locked. So I am going to hit this keyboard, Command and J. And Command and J makes a copy of my layer. I call this jump to a new layer. That's how I call it in my head. We're going to be able to paint everything on this one layer, so you only need to do that. So the first primary color I feel like working with today will be red. I've already got red selected, but we'll review that in a second. I'm going to go to Quick Select. I'm going to pick some but not all of the lily pads. So I selected one lily pad. Now I make sure it's on um, quick select plus. I'm going to grab another one right here. And I actually grab too much, so obviously. Select minus so I can get it right down to the edge of where it's supposed to be. I'm going to pick one or two more. I'm going to pick this kid back here. That looks like a good candidate for red. Overshot the, selected some of the water. So I'm going to fix that a little bit. And I'm going to do this one right here. Okay. So you can see there are all these dotted lines around them, the selection lines. What's cool about that is it's going to work like a fence. So I can very easily paint in those shapes. So I go over to my brush. My brush is pretty large right now. That's all right. When we open up the brush, it's usually on normal. I want the color to be kind of transparent. I don't want it to be opaque. I want to be able to see through the color. So I'm going to go to overlay. And I'm also going to take the opacity of my brush and take it down to about 50%. 50% ish. And now I'm going to start painting. And see how I can paint outside areas? It's only going to paint inside of where I selected things. And that is happiness for me. I can totally paint anywhere and everywhere I want to paint. And I don't have to worry about the brush going out of bounds or being stressed out about how well I'm painting that shape. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Command D to deselect, make those lines go away. Go back to my Quick Select tool, and I'm going to paint this one, this big lily pad in the front. I'm also going to do this one right here. I'm going to do this one right here in the background, and. Now I'm going to go back to brush tool. I'm going to keep it at overlay 52%, but now I want to paint with blue. 
So I'm going to click on the red, click in the blue, and I can click anywhere I want to click. I want to go with a very like standard primary color, color wheel blue. So I hit OK, and then boom, here I go again. Painting in everywhere I selected. So what I'm doing is I'm just repeating the pattern of select areas and select this one. And then on this one, I'm going to just do primary colors only. So brush. Now I'm going to go for yellow. Brush settings stay the same. And now this is yellow. So I'm just painting in section by section until it's like literally you guys were just coloring on this project and seeing how you can get the colors to look harmonious, how you can get the colors to look good together and where the best combination of colors will be. So I'm going to keep going until this is all painted in. It is okay to use leave some areas black and some areas white. Like the way that the um, the fish, the, the koi fish and the water is so black, I'm not going to actually add color to those areas. I'm just going to focus on painting in the, um, the lily pad leaves. Okay, so you can use any photo that you have on file um, from the past or something you've done recently, your choice, and paint in. Oh, whoops, I need to deselect first because I can't. There we go. I was, here we go. Now I got that one looking good like that. This area, it's grabbed some of the water, so I need to go to select minus. Paint that out. There we go. Brush right in that area. And then that one's pop it out. And I would just keep going until I filled that all in. And so really what you're doing is you're just practicing color groupings and you're practicing selecting and then using the paintbrush. And that's this whole jam.